Hello everyone, Jeff and Jay here with another edition of Jay's Big Adventure, Jay's the Fuzzy Guy, and today we are getting a significant upgrade for both the video and audio equipment for our YouTube channel. To understand what a big improvement this really is, let's look at our old setup. Previously, we've been using this GoPro Session 5, and to get external audio, or to be able to use an external microphone, you have to buy this really expensive piece from GoPro because they have engineered it in a way that you just can't plug a regular microphone in and go from there. Of course not. You have to buy this adapter. Well, the problem with this adapter is that now I have to plug the microphone or the microphone cord into here, and that runs over to my wireless microphone. But this is set up for an amplifier. So I had to get this quarter inch jack to three and a half millimeter adapter. Now I've got that cord set up and now that transmits to my wireless transmitter. And that's got a microphone plugged into it and it runs back up here. And I just Velcro that inside the helmet. So obviously there's a lot of places where this can go wrong and that is exactly what's happened. Probably half the time I get home and one of these connectors has come off. So a lot of you guys connectors has come off. So I've got this taped together. I've got Velcro that I've attached here and it's all just a huge pain and it's tough to do on a motorcycle where I may be going 80 or 90 miles an hour over a long period of time. And so we had to come up with a new system. And that's what we've done here. So what we've done is we have a new Hero 8 Black. And in addition to that, I've purchased, again, their ridiculously expensive Media Mod case. The reason we buy the case is that for the first time, I actually have a microphone jack <clears throat> directly into the camera. And this is just a standard three and a half millimeter jack. I can use any camera that I want. There is a USB-C port so that I can uh, run an external battery or plug it directly into the bike. It actually has an HDMI out jack. And they've got a little uh, flip up display that you can use for forward facing um, displays if you want to use it for blogging, which is kind of what I'm doing. But so what I've done now is I've just got a coiled cord that comes into the helmet. And I've got a standard microphone here. The cool thing about this is that this is just a standard three and a half millimeter jack. And now with this right angle piece, I just Velcro it in and now we're ready to go. So that is what we have done. The next part is going to be to go take it for a ride. Okay. So we are ready to go. Jay's got a seat belt on. So let's see if this works. It is a beautiful day here in Salt Lake City. It's about 40 degrees, 42 currently. And the real key here is going to be how clear is the audio with the windshield up and down? Oop. Okay, so this is 80 miles an hour. And this is where we spend a huge part of our time here. And this is why we decided to do this whole upgrade thing is because I really wanted a better setup. Something that I could actually use while riding and uh, 
do the voiceovers even at uh, Utah speeds. A lot of the canyon work we do is a lot slower, but there's a bunch of places where we're uh, approaching triple digits. So I'm going to go ahead and open the visor, see how that goes. Now we're going to lower the windshield. Afraid that this is going to be too noisy. I'm pretty sure with the visor up it's going to be awful, but with the visor down, does the camera get rid of that wind noise? I'll have to bring the R80/7 up through here today. It is such a pretty day. I need to ride that again before the uh, weather turns on us. It looks like we're going to have another week or two where we'll still be able to ride on a fairly regular basis, but then the temperatures drop down into the 30s and we're talking 20 or 30% chance of precipitation every night. And once they start salting the roads, I might pretty much get off the bike just because I don't want, want it to rust out. Okay, so what are our final thoughts on this? It comes down to a couple of things. There's no question that this is a significantly better camera. It has outstanding image stabilization and it now lets me have a very simple connection from the camera to my microphone. And that was kind of what we were looking for. The added video quality is just an additional bonus, but it goes beyond that. In addition to the camera having a much better gimbal type stabilization or gyroscopic stabilization system than the cheap cameras, GoPro has now taken it to the next level. They now have a software program that ties into the camera. And what happens is the camera is recording video, it is recording audio, but it is also recording the gyroscopic stabilization track and embedding it in the file. The reason they do that is that they now have a software program called Real Steady. It's R E E L, Real Steady. And that looks at the recorded gyroscopic data, and they use that to significantly smooth the footage out in post production. So um, the real key here is going to be. How clear is the audio with the windshield up and down? Okay, so this is 80 miles an hour. And this is where we spend a huge part of our time here. And this is why we decided to do this whole upgrade thing, is because I really wanted a better setup. Something that I could actually use while riding and uh, do the voiceovers even at uh, Utah speeds. A lot of the canyon work that we do is a lot slower, but there's a bunch of places where we're uh, approaching triple digits. So I'm going to go ahead and open the visor. So for goofing around and showing video to your buddies and posting stuff on YouTube, this is actually a pretty good deal. It's a good value. It's not a great camera. This is a great camera. And in addition to that, there, there's a, a hot shoe mount here so I could mount a microphone on the top of this. I could mount my light on top of this if I wanted to. Um, it's now got the video out. It's got the charging port on the back. There's a lot of really cool stuff that goes into this. That is why it's more money. Let's compare this to cars. Okay, Kia has a new model out called a Stinger, which is 365 horsepower, rear wheel drive. It's supposed to be a really nice car. And I'm sure it is. Unless you've driven a BMW M3. <laughs> and then you understand why the M3 is more than double the money. It's more than double the car. If you're just out goofing around and it's your daily driver and you don't care about going to the track and you don't care about the nth level of performance, that car represents an outstanding value. It is not the same car as a BMW M3. 
So that's kind of where we're going to leave this. For someone who is trying to take their video production to the next level, and that's what we're trying to do here, we're trying to become more and more professional as the channel ages, this equipment is going to help. If not, one of the inexpensive action cameras is great, and if I lose that, it's 120 bucks, you don't really care. If this falls off, I'm probably going to cry. So we're going to leave it at that. Um, thanks for watching. Jay always appreciates the views. Watch the rest of our videos as well because we are always looking for the watch hours. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and we will have another video out soon.